Hello people and welcome to a uh, a new let's play to run alongside Resident Evil 4. Now Elliot Quest is going to be on hold and possibly it won't return to because that's starting getting a little a little too much like the original Zeldas where you get kind of um, got to guess what to do next and it's not particularly made clear and there's not a lot of information on it online. I don't want to play that game just by looking everything up online anyway so I might go back to that but really I'm not enjoying that game much anymore at this point so I feel like that's probably just gonna be just gonna be a goner. But this this game should be interesting. Now, at the moment my friend Marijan is playing through the uh, Thief games, a uh, stealth series. The best uh, stealth series to be honest. Uh, at least definitely the first two games. And despite that, this game possibly is gonna be inferior then to the Thief 2, but uh, I thought I'd run alongside my own stealth game. I've one I've not got a lot of experience with, so uh, we are going to uh, dive in, give it a go, basically blind, I've seen a couple of videos on it and not much, and I'm going to run on hard mode. Um, this is possibly a mistake, I hope I can change the difficulty after I start. The atrium of Akinash. A world shut inside another. This is what humans do when they don't understand a thing. They build walls around it. They put locks on the doors, and they put soldiers in front of those doors. The bigger the secret, the bigger the lock. And the craziest are those who want to pick it. May my ancestors forgive me. I'm one of those to my misfortune. Ah, this noise, these voices. I can't stand it. Amber. Damn golden mud oozing from the heart of the world tree. A magma of sticky dreams. All the thoughts of those who wanted to taste the forbidden sap. Humans. Elves. All their private little chatters mixed up in this disgusting soup. A flood of ideas constantly flowing into my head. For all these years. It took so long for me to find this place. With each step, I heard my voice a little less, and all the others a little more. I'm so tired. It's time to finish it. While I can still recognize my own thoughts. The heart of the tree. It's why I'm here. That, at least, I am sure is my own desire. Take possession of this source of infinite power, but also misfortune. It's time to move to the first phase of the plan. Drop you a weapon. And it starts now. All right, beast, wake up. Answer when Lord Barnumin speaks to you. Who are you? Speak. My name is Stick. There's a surprise. The elves give names to their monsters. Where do you come from? I've never seen anything that looks like you. I am one of a kind. It's the elves who created it, Father. That's obvious. They pulled this runt out of their sticky larvae, and they sent it here to spy on us. Speak. Is it the elves who sent you? Why are you here? <laughs> elves. If you only... They don't need spies to find out what's going on in this accursed tower. So, you're working for them. What did you come here for? I came for the heart of the tree, of course. I knew it. Those degenerates want to retake the tree and keep their precious amber for themselves. Father, we must bring them to heal while we still have time. Enough, Aaron. I secured this alliance with the elves and I intend to respect it. For the moment, we need the elves. You know it very well. Rubbish. Oh yes, you do need the elves. How many of you poor little humans died the last time you tried to extract amber by yourselves, huh? How many? Hundreds? Oh yes, you do need the elves. But they don't need you. How long do you think you can lock them up in their own world? The amber is theirs. The tree is theirs. The heart of the tree is theirs. 
and I intend to get my hands on it and take it away from here. They're dying to get their tree back, eh? But they won't do a thing. We have an agreement. An agreement? We don't sign agreements with people who have amber in their veins. <laughs> You're out of your depth, Mr. Governor. Oh, ho, 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 you've got some nerve. <laughs> I'm sure you've never even seen the heart of the tree. Oh, but I have seen it. Since I've been holed up in the bowels of the atrium, I can see it night and day, even in my dreams. And every day I say to myself, Hey, Rakash, the heart of the tree is over there. Almost within reach. And by your life, you're gonna find some way to steal it. Because you're not leaving the tower without it. The heart of the tree, yeah. Oh, this headache. What? What? Where was I? Shit, my brain is an anvil. Yeah, yeah. Should be able to climb up there. So this is a pretty uh, interesting sort of fantasy world going on. I mean, this whole sort of amber, amber strangeness. Did you see the sort of elves create the goblins found. and stuff? I, where I it mean, it's, it's not, not completely yeah, well, you know generic. We'll it's actually it got some interesting tonight. stuff to it, and in I, meantime, I hope we're going to find out more to go through the game. Okay, okay. This is a sequel, tonight. but. Well, I it's I think it's actually technically a prequel, but I could be wrong because the events it's talking about might have been from the first game to a uh, action RPG dagger. called *The Orcs and Men*. It can't be far away. Whoops! I actually I wish I didn't keep cutting his dialogue when I walked ahead too fast, but um, he's just really place. giving tutorial nonsense at the moment. But um, yeah, that's an action RPG called *The Orcs and Men*, climbing, which I hear I is interesting. Not necessarily, you know, it's it's not an absolutely amazing RPG, but if you like RPGs, it's it's quirky and interesting, what I hear. And, um, yeah, I've not actually played that game. I own it. Unfortunately, I own it on console, which means uh, I'm too stingy to buy it again on PC and at the same time too lazy to get out the console and play it on that. So, it's a game I never really got around to playing. But this is uh, basically a different genre of game, almost. Because this is, yeah, this is an action RPG. This is a, this is a purely a stealth game, from what I could tell, and from the way it seemed to advertise itself. I'm trying to be quiet during big dialogue bits. But it's a mirage. It's so big that it seems to be close. But I still got a long way to go. Anyway, I'm pretty sure so, it's oh. what I heard, the only access to the heart is a bridge which that two-faced governor Baron has had closed off with a tamper-proof lock, and he keeps the only key in his apartments. And as if that wasn't bad enough, the whole area is crawling with elves. I'm gonna have to go down into the prisons and free my friend. He knows how to deal with an elf. <laughs> So, if I'm gonna survive in this tower, I'm gonna need somewhere safe to get organized, as well as a map of the atrium. Well, I'll get nothing done standing around here. I'll get my dagger, and it's off to work. I'm sorry if we look so atrocious at the moment, but I had to lower the settings down to low and runs at 720p in order to get like a 60 frames per second all the time. Um, during the record. When I'm not recording, I can run this at like medium 10, uh, 1080p fine. But yeah, involving Bandicam in my processors, even using the video codec. Uh, yeah. It doesn't run particularly well. Oh dear. Yes, yes, yes. Aha! That's a new way of getting through that bit. Now, this is about where I've gotten to. I got to like the other side of this Let's room see. essentially. Mm. This door. There are maps of the zone stuck up here. You can look through the doors. It might be useful for finding a way to the tree. Which is interesting and useful. Now, um you realize this little tattoo I've got. I 
think I might just skip through this tutorial, but I'll explain now. The tattoo I have, while it's glowing, the brighter it's glowing, strangely, the better I'm hidden. So I guess it's it's, it's also trying to counter my efforts, really. It's just going to light stuff up when I'm trying to hide in darkness. But, um... Aha, more platforming. But, um... Yeah, it's... It's kind of like the light gem from the Thief games. I do find it... Oh, God. Yeah, uh -huh. I've explained before, I'm not very good at platforming. But yeah, I, I do find usually when I play um, stealth games that I always tend to miss the light gem from Thief. It's really handy to where I am dishonored, or you just get disorientated without that. Um, I suppose this tattoo can will do. It's not quite as visually obvious straight away as I would as I feel the light gem was. But yes. It will be workable, and I think these things are falling behind me. Assassin's rule number one. Always strike from behind. Especially when the fucker is twice your size. And remember to land on the carpet to make less noise. Yep. Uh, this uses pretty standard stealth game mechanics. Uh, carpets, uh, your fee's best friends. You're not going to make any noise really while walking on those. Uh, okay, hold. May as well. I don't think there's anyone else around, but... And yeah, we're not quite the peaceful thief that Garrett is either. Stiff lying around. That would be messy. Where can I hide it? We are the uh, we are the murdering kind. We are a goblin after all. But yeah, again, strangely, goblins seem to be they said one of a kind. I I did see sort of goblinoid things, so maybe there are other types of goblins. It's just like ah, uh, super awesome stealth intelligent goblins is unique to him. I don't know. But yeah, I'm pretty sure this is, yeah, I'm pretty sure you can play this game without playing a walks and men. And still get most of the stuff out of it. Though maybe that would clear up some stuff about whether I'm working for um working for the elves or not. And okay, we have to duel this guy. This is gonna be something I'm gonna want to avoid pretty much all the time. Considering that I'm now playing on hard mode. Okay, I have to go for the parry then for a kill, from the looks of it. Oh, okay, there's no way to actually take this guy, so I can't take him back. I'm pretty sure this is a tutorial level, so I think it's going to be alright just to leave him. I'll forgo being super stealthy for this one level. Also, I don't know how the levels are. I mean, this tutorial level obviously feels like a very linear, sort of straight line kind of mission layout. As opposed to, like, you know, a big mansion to go ransack kind of type of level. So, um, I don't know, all the game might be like this. Which, to be honest, I, I don't really... I prefer um, the big sort of open level kind of stealth rather than linear type uh, things. But we'll see how... we'll see how this goes. What is this throwing sand? Oh, okay. Um... How do I tell if I lock onto one or not? I guess it shows Q if I can hit something with it. Aha, sweet. Now we're solid. Slash every single horror game made in recent years. Oh dear. Can I hit those ones up there with the sand? No, I can't throw sand unless I've got a target. What's well, kind of like um, rope arrows and stuff in the latest Thief. I, I mean, this is a pretty small game. I know Thief wasn't exactly there was like w renowned title. Um, well, I, well, okay, it was really good, but it wasn't the most played title by, especially by newer generations. So. Although I still, I still think it's more popular in this game, so it's probably a good point to compare it to. Oh, okay, I thought I could read that book on the table, which is why I crawled over there. It's probably my fault for playing Resident Evil recently, and that being a thing I could do. Okay, so the, the tail was a good idea anyway. Well, hmm. Could have got a way of killing him, probably. Oh, hmm. Passageways I did not see. 
pick these fungi. Maybe I. I'm going to be trapped in for quite a while. Do I? What do I eat as a goblin exactly? The fungus would seem like a plentiful resource on the ground. Oh god, I knocked over a fucking chair. <laughs> yeah, that's a thing. I've got to be wary of doing that. <laughs> I'm transferring my real life clumsy game. Right, just leave him there. Don't even bother extinguishing that torch, I don't need to. I get that lock going to have to take a while, I just wish these doors were just unlocked to start with, considering that there's no reason, like, nothing's going. bad about them being locked, really. I suppose it stops me from just unlocking it and running past, um, what's his face, but really. Actually, it locked me in there until I killed him anyway, so. That's not even an excuse. See, if I could be a bit quicker now, I could kill that guy there. But I mean, he's going to turn around just before I get there, isn't he? Oh no, I got him. Please do not see him. Seems well enough hidden to me. I don't know how, like, how much I can stand in the open. For them not to see me. I don't know how much I need to use objects over just darkness. Because that seems to be like the defining split in stealth games. Are you reliant on objects to hide yourself? Or, um, yeah, it's just shadows enough. He's got his back. I don't think I can actually get him. Right, not that really you need to, it seems. He's pretty oblivious to absolutely everything going on. Secret? Okay, that was literally just a shortcut I could have taken. Oh, the stealth route. Didn't need it though. Might have been handy on the run where I completely effed up, like, to a bloody chair. <laughs> now I'm wondering. Nope. <laughs> Let's go back and throw them over the edge. Oh, I suppose that's funny enough. I'll just leave them like that. I also kind of wish I could um, slash through my knife without having to be in combat for it, but I suppose there is little point to doing so. Shit, more guards. If I stay hidden behind this barrel, it should be fine. Anyway, what's the difference between that and that? Also, these guys are probably completely pissed, so uh, I don't see how hiding behind this barrel is really going to help you all that much. Apparently it will, though. Huh. I know he could look directly at me, but uh, still, honey behind the barrel, honey behind the barrel. Absolutely nothing to see here. Oh, shit, yeah, they found the dead bodies. Now I heard they call these guys away. <laughs> I think that thing, don't think that thing's getting any bigger, so I think he might just be staying over there. I can't seriously just walk past that guy, can I, with you in cover? Okay. These guards are absolutely fucking stupid. We can establish this. That mustn't work later in the game. I imagine the guy got a slightly better vision. No, I'm not. Yeah, you just try and get me. Oh wow, it's actually working. Kind of. Until that happens. Yeah, I imagine you will. Oh, yes, yes, yes.
Haha. -ha. Okay, it's definitely common common green type features. Unless you just follow that name on the spot. Skill points. Aha. Uh -huh. Cloning? Your clones can grab an enemy for a few moments. You can take advantage to kill them or simply continue on your way unhindered. Ooh. Okay, so I can't do that just yet. Oh, but I can't even learn any skills yet. I have to go back to the hideout first. Right. You gain them by completing missions. Okay, um, how do I tell if I have a side objective or not, if there's something I can do? Mission, then go to the okay, there's, I assumed it would show up there, so I guess I haven't got any, uh, any mission yet, really. My objective succeeded, plus 10 skill points. But yeah, I've got some pretty awesome skills, I can clone myself and stuff. Possibly more like Dishonored than Thief, and I seem to have an attitude of ma magical powers. Oh my God. I gotta get me some amber. Yeah, that that would straighten me out. Down there, maybe. Ugh, oh, it's amber. It's lyrium, clearly. So I've been playing a lot of Dragon Age recently. To study these cocoons more closely, it would be fascinating. Uh, it's like bio suits. Colleague. I'd be willing. What was that? Oh, boy. Whoops. I didn't want to have to kill you, but yeah, too risky to keep you around. They're kobolds, clearly. The front are gonna take their candles. Anyway, um, yeah, we're in the distillery now. I kind of blew it already, but um, things seem to go all right. I don't seem to have any secondary objectives, not to kill anyone. So, uh, yes, I'll catch you in the next part.